What happens when we don't cut our toenails for six months, eight months, maybe a year? Um, for most of us, the nail will grow longer. For this gentleman, instead of growing longer, the nail grew much thicker. And he had been afraid to come in, and he was also living at the shelter where he didn't have access to care where they could trim the nail for him. So he was actually pretty afraid that this was going to hurt and had put off coming in. So this is what it looks like when your nail grows in thick instead of long, and it starts to look as thick as tree bark. Yeah. Okay. These look like they had to be pretty uncomfortable in your shoes. Mm -hmm. But these aren't even the best ones. I'm hiding the best one. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. Ta-da! Yeah. Like a piece of tree bark, sort of. It's yeah. kind of what it looks like. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, how long do you think it's been since this one's been trimmed? Probably about eight months. Okay. So. Well, I'm glad that you came in. So we could get this done for you. If, again, if anything I'm doing is hurting, you let me know. No, that's fine. So I'm just pushing on it to stabilize it, so... Mm -hmm. And then what I'll do is I have my Dremel here, mm -hmm. and we'll thin it out once we've got everything trimmed. Okay. Sorry. So is this why you said you were scared? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I'm glad that you came in, though. I mean, I can understand not knowing what would happen or if it's going to hurt. Yeah. The doctor told me he would take it off, but I just didn't take him up on his offer. Okay. I was nervous. No, and I, I completely understand that. When was that? Um, probably about a little over a year ago. Okay. Yeah, so that, that can easily been done, be done. Um, you can take it off and let it grow back, or you can take it off and make it permanent. You can do either. Mm. Um, the permanent removal requires aftercare that you probably can't do while yeah. you're here. Mm -hmm. So once you get housing, mm -hmm. that, sorry, that would be a good time mm -hmm. sure. to come in and have that done. Sure. Feels better already. Just to get that pressure off, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Looks like something was bleeding here at one point mm. under the nail. Mm -hmm. Did you ever have any bleeding coming out from under the nail? Mm-mm. Okay. Now, does that hurt or are you just expecting it to? 
doesn't hurt. Okay. I'm trying to go real lightly here. sure these are all hitting the end of your shoe so every mm -hmm. step you take it's got to be uncomfortable mm -hmm. This one, um, what, um, what, what? I just, that's fine. Well, this one you've got, you lost a nail. So yeah. this is the end of the old nail here. Mm -hmm. Is this really, really painful to touch? Yeah, well, it hurts, yeah. I don't, I don't want to mess with it. You don't it. want me to do anything? How yeah. about with the sander? You can. I can do it lightly with the mm -hmm. sander? Okay. So I'm going to start again on the baby toe here.
So my concern with this right big toe here, I want to focus on the right big toe. Mm -hmm. my, my concern with this nail right here mm -hmm. is so this piece right here was old nail that's getting pushed out kind of like a baby toe or a baby tooth gets mm -hmm. pushed out. This is the new nail. But my concern is I want you to be very careful about what's going on up here because it looks like it's curving down and going right into the skin here. Mm. So that can become ingrown right there too. So if that starts to hurt a lot, I want you to get in and let someone look at it. Okay. Or come in and see us next month. Okay. And, you know, the other option would be that I can numb up your toe if you wanted and um, just mm. trim that nail way back. So there's options. You don't have to do any of that, but yeah, not right now. Yeah, no, that's fine. All right. Well, thank you for thank letting you. us do the video. I appreciate it. Yeah. Okay.